Hey, everybody. Awesome. You like my kicks? <laughs> so thank you very much for uh, inviting me here today to talk to you about VR. Uh, my name is Matt Chacon. I am the CEO of Dockhead Simulations. And we only do one thing. We use virtual reality to reduce business travel. That's it. Where's it going? <laughs> woo, woo, there we go. So why are we doing that? Well, <laughs> because business travel sucks. It's horrible, and I'm sure all of you could tell me the same thing. Uh, distributed teams are just not as collaborative or, or uh, engaged as they need to be. And companies spend over a trillion dollars a year to solve that problem. So what they do is they travel all of their employees to one location just to have a conversation. That's insanity, <laughs> and it's really expensive. So to mitigate those expenses, they use tools like video and teleconferencing. And it is a shit show, um, as you all know. <laughs> Amen, sister. So this is an actual screenshot of a video conference I was on right before I started my company. That's me. It's not all video. It's a flat image because my camera broke. This dude <laughs> is the moderator. He was on mute for eight and a half minutes, ignoring every single person telling him he was on mute. <laughs> this woman, obviously the smartest person in the room, was like, F this, I'm out of here. Total waste of time. She peaced out of the meeting. And God bless this guy. He is trying so desperately to pay attention to, to this meeting. <laughs> and this dude was sleeping. <laughs> 30 seconds into the call, I'm not kidding, he fell asleep and snored the whole call. <laughs> Nobody kicked him off, and the talk was 90 minutes long. So it was awesome. <laughs> that is why we started Rumi. So in our product, People can come together in virtual reality from anywhere in the world and communicate and collaborate in one room as though they're all in the same physical location. And it is amazing. Oops. Uh, sorry, but that's not the only reason we started Rumi. Uh, we started Rumi to give us more time with family, friends, and to give you the freedom to do what you want to do, which is actually not sitting in traffic multiple hours a day, twice a day, or sitting in some aluminum tube jettisoning yourself across the country with complete strangers. So let's talk about the tech. Um, so we're multi-platform. We're built on top of Unity. And uh, we have built a semi-proprietary uh, networking stack using Photon. Um, I don't know if any of you are familiar with Photon, but it's great. Uh, it's a cloud-based architecture. Um, it's multi-platform. It's multi-player, which is very nice because obviously we have multiple people in the room. Uh, but from a business perspective, it's quite attractive because it's scalable and it's customizable, and that, that's really nice. Um, it's also, or we're also working on some custom integrations with uh, Alexa and IBM Watson to do like voice to text integrations. It wasn't always sunshine and lollipops, though. <laughs> we definitely had our, our failures, like single threading some of our development team, um, spending way too much time on prototyping tasks. But from a business perspective, we, did spend, uh, we, we didn't spend enough time hiring business people. I mean, you can have the best product and the best technology. But if you don't have sales, you don't have shit. <laughs> so that's what you'd really need to focus on. That led to some best practices. Really, what we learned is one simple thing. Treat your team like adults, and they will do amazing things. It's literally that simple. The best advice I can give you for running a company Drink whiskey, smoke cigars, play golf. <laughs> you don't actually have to do all of those things, although I highly recommend them. <laughs> I try to do at least one of those once a day, namely number one with our marketing guy right here. <laughs> but um, really what this points to is be social. Come out to networking events like this. Um, uh, attend uh, networking events, and it really you're gonna meet your friends, you're gonna meet coworkers, and you're going to meet your business partners and your advisors and your investors. Lead from the front and inspire leadership and every person in your company. What we're doing, we're eliminating business travel. We're working with some of the largest companies in the world to do just that, eliminating unnecessary business travel. Here's my ask of you. Go to our website, click the link right on the homepage, join our early access program and I will give you a personal invitation to a monthly VR meetup that I currently have where we talk about the business of VR. Thank you.
All right, what questions have you guys got? Yes. Thank you. Sure, yeah, thank you. Great, really Matt, great question. Matt, so, please uh, repeat the question. You got it. So uh, she's wondering about what are we using to inspire more engagement among teams that are trying to share like spreadsheets or documents or whatever. So our product is multi-platform. It works inside of VR and outside of VR. You don't actually need a headset. You can use any hardware virtually built within the last four years uh, to use our product. It's kind of like playing a first-person shooter if you're not in VR. So in re regardless of experience, <coughs> we use our product every day. We have 17 employees around the world on three different continents. And from day three of using our product as a company mandate, you can't use anything else. No other product but Rumi to collaborate. So we eat our own dog food, pun intended. Um, so we have desktop sharing. We have web co um, networked web browsers where you can spin up a web browser. And you can, as long as you have like 365 or Google, you can pull up the document that you're sharing, you give a presentation. We actually have multiple videos of our teams doing that every day. We have Jira int integrated into our product so you can have like your daily scrum in VR, which we do every single day. Yes. So great question. So his question is, are we going to be wearing HMDs, head-mounted displays, four hours a day? Short answer is no, not as they currently exist. But I will tell you that VR is this. Imagine me coming to you and s with a giant Motorola brick phone and saying, hey, this is the future. You're going to look at me and say, I already have a phone. Why would I ever use that? I'm never going to do that. Well, guess what? Everybody has one of these in their pocket now. In 10 years, if you're not using VR, you're going to be weird, right? But it's not going to be in its current iteration. If you do patent searches, you'll see all of the patent searches for glasses that you can wear. And there's going to be a mix of probably VR, AR, MR. I'm not quite sure. But when I look into my crystal ball, <laughs> what I see is using the HMDs for purpose-built meetings. So our product solves hyper-specific use cases. We're not trying to solve every single problem. But we regularly use it for about, I think the longest we've been in there is about three and a half hours uh, a meeting. And it feels like 10 minutes, because when you're in VR, you know, we have people all over the world. <laughs> it's always noon in VR. So your brain cognitively processes your, yourself to, oh, it's time to wake up. It's the craziest thing. Um, yes, you had a question. Yeah, so we're, um, I don't want to mislead anybody here. We're currently collecting those analytics. We do have them. I, and we're also collecting, we're doing a um, um, highly immersive um, user engagement. We just partnered with a company named Swervase to do just that in VR. So um, and I think they work out of Comotion Labs. Comotion! <laughs> so um, we do have those statistics. Happy to share them with you. But what I can tell you is that user engagement is through the roof. Um, here's a great example of, uh, not exactly what you're saying, but it approaches what you're saying. In our studies, it takes on average about three and a half minutes just to start a meeting using any tool on the market right now. Using our tool, it takes exactly 23 seconds. So, hyperly engaged. One more question? Yes. You don't know how I have them. Sure. So in an HMD, there's zero distractions. As Sydney said, you're actually 100% engaged in VR. You're not doing this. You're not clicking keyboards. It just doesn't happen. Uh, the problem is I can't go to the bathroom or drink coffee, right, if I have an HMD. So thank you very much for your time, everyone.